Bible way. Hello? Hello. Um, may, may I speak to Apostle McIntosh, please? Um, he's not here at the moment. Can I take a message? Yes, if I leave my number. Thank you. Um, <coughs> it's... You've got a pen? Uh, I'm trying to get a pen. Yep, sure. You can give me the number, yeah. Yes, it's O. Looking at the church. Th thank you very much. Um, what's the nature of the call? Well, I, I'm looking at the church and I just want to know, I mean, a Apostle Macintosh calls himself Apostle. Do we have Apostles today in, in the sense of the 12 Apostles? I'm a bit puzzled about that. Um, I'm also puzzled about baptism and why you reject the Trinity. Why don't you pray about it, my love? I, I, God is the one that will give you the answer. Well, I'm, I'm wondering if Apostle Macintosh would be able to help, please. If, if he could get back to me sometime, that would, that would be great. The questions I've got are rather... I've been looking at this for quite some time. They're rather complicated. I do understand that. Maybe he'd be able to help. Well, I could help you because I'm also a, 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 a pastor. Oh, you're a pastor too? Okay. Yes, um, well, um, I guess the, 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 the first thing regarding the Trinity and the oneness, um, mm -hmm. the Son prays to the Father in John 17, 1. Yes. Um, and he says, uh, uh, then he says in verse 5, and I don't have a Bible with me, so I'm working from memory, um, mm -hmm. glorify me together with yourself with the glory which I had with you before the world was. So, yes, yes, so the context is the Son speaking to the Father in John 17, 1, but he says he had glory together with the Father from before the creation. Um, because he is the Father. I beg your pardon, Mum? That statement is declaring that he is the Father. But, but all that Jesus did while, while he was on earth is a pattern for us to learn. That's the reason why he said about the um, when the apostles asked him to teach them to pray, he said, Our Father who art in heaven. God is one. Yes, he of course. He was Father in creation for creating the whole world. He is Son in, rede in redemption, redeeming us from sin, from sin, from our first estate, our estate. And now he is the Holy Ghost which we receive in the church. He's operating in the church, but when the Lord Jesus shall come, he will be one. Well, um, Trini the, the Trinity, as I understand it, as I've been studying it, teaches that God is one God. The Trinity doesn't teach there's three separate gods. Um, so I would agree with you, there's one God. But in John 17, 5, you said mm -hmm. Jesus is the Father. He's, mm -hmm. he's praying to the Father in John 17, 1. Okay, he's addressing the fa Father in prayer, if I could just make my point. And then in John 17, 5, the, w um, the word with is used. The glory which I had with you before the world was. Now, if Jesus yeah. is the Father, how can he have glory with himself? Of course, because, because he is glory himself. It was Jesus that, that even when the children of Israel going through the wilderness. Jesus was the one that supplied the water. Jesus was the one that came down in manna. Mm -hmm. And therefore, to, to, to reconcile the world back to himself, he needed blood, but he needed a pure blood. So he robed himself in flesh. So that, that is where Jesus come in the flesh part of God to die for our sins. Now, now he's no more in, in, in flesh, he's spirit. He's no and more flesh, so you didn't, you would deny the resurrection? Because Christians no. believe that Jesus rose in the same body that he died in. There was a physical, yes. literal, bodily resurrection from the grave. Yes, he, he rose um, in the body, was a different flesh. Different flesh? No, no, it was the same flesh. He, to prove his resurrection, he rose in the same, the, the, the same body that he died in. Although I feel we're straying from John 17, 5, um, which you haven't really addressed. Um, in John 2, 19, 
to 21, he says, destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up, John 2, 19, verse 21. But he was speaking of the temple of his body. So Jesus is going to rise up in the same body that he died in, not a different body. And, um, but, but could you get back to John 17, 5? The glory which I had with you before the world was, and the speaker is the Son. And the Son says to the Father that he had glory together with the Father, obviously as the Son, from before the world was. Yes, but you have seen them as two separate people. And until you can see them as one, it's no point. Sorry, who believes they're two separate people? You believe they're no, two no, separate people. No, no, I don't believe they're two separate people. I believe they're distinct persons, but I most certainly don't believe they're separate. That would be contrary to the Trinitarian creeds. Now, listen, I am a mother. Yes. I am also... Um, a daughter. Yes. I haven't changed. It's me. Okay. I'm a wife. That's that's three offices that I'm working in right here. So it's it's only me, and I am only a human being. Let alone God Himself. He can do what He wants. That is the reason why He said, when Moses asked Him, "Who should I say send me?" He said, "I am that I am. I am." who I want to be, when I want to be, because I am Almighty God. There's no impossibility with God. But we've got to look at this wider scope to say that God is God and He can do anything. Well, now, I, don't, I don't think He can contradict His word. While He was, while, while he was on earth, it was to teach us. Mm -hmm. It was to teach us what we should do when he leave. So we're going to pray and we're going to say our father because he is our father. Are you saying that Jesus is God the Father? Yes, no God the Father. Jesus is the Father. I, I mean... Jesus is the Son. Jesus is the Holy Ghost. But in John 17, 1, the son is praying to the father. He's praying to somebody surely other than himself. He's praying to another no, distinct person. No, 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 no. no. Jesus didn't even have to pray that prayer. But he did it so that we, Paul and them, and we and for every generation coming down, would know how to pray. He was, he was, he, he was here in bodily form, teaching human beings how to live how to get over trials you know what to do so he did practical it was a pra it was <laughs> it was a practical teaching for us to understand what we should do after he left um, but surely jesus always identified himself as the son of god never as god the father jesus never said i am god the father he, he always identified himself as the son of god and um, I think it's Second John three says he is Jesus Christ is the Son of the Father. The word of yeah. there means it's a genitive, means that he is he's not the Father. He's the Son of the Father, meaning he's somebody other than the Father who is distinct from him, not not separate. I'm not saying Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are separate. I, I don't believe that. I believe they're distinct, not separate. Um, but he, he is the he is the Son in bodily form. But the spirit of God was in him. So, so because, because, don't forget, if, if God could plead, it, there would be no need for a body. So Jesus is, is the overall God put on, but a job needed doing. I mean, is there a verse which says Jesus is God the Father? Well, the only verse I could send you to is, um, I think it's Second Timothy 3, 16. You're going to have to read it. Oh, that one, that, that simply says in the King James Version, um, oh. God, was, God was manifested in the flesh. And that's yes, what Trinitarians... That's, of godliness, yeah. That's what Trinitarians believe. The Son is God, 
the Father sent the Son into the world, so the Son was manifested in the flesh. That verse does not say God the Father was manifested in the flesh. Is there a verse which says God the Father was manifested in the flesh? Uh, no, no, I don't, I don't, uh, uh, off, my, uh, off the top of my head, I don't, no. uh, can't remember a verse saying that. No. But what I'm saying, um, if, you, if, you, if, if you are saved, because this is what I do for myself when I don't understand any something biblical. Because mm. I'm baptized and filled with the Holy Ghost, I, I go to the source. And that is in prayer. I go in prayer to God and He will reveal whatever you need to be. Mm. In. You will need to know God will reveal it to you. Yeah, but if what is being revealed to you is not biblical, then is it of any value? You know, there are many Jehovah's Witnesses and Mormons and Christadelphians I've spoken to, members of the Way International, and all sorts of um, followers of various Pentecostal TV preachers who have God speaking to them all the time. God speaks to the Mormons, to all sorts of Pentecostal people all the time. And yet what is revealed to them is totally different. One Pentecostal sect said, God's speaking to me, and they, they will say one thing. The Pentecostal sect down the road say, God's speaking to us, and he reveals something totally different. God is speaking to the leaders of the Watchtower Society, the Jehovah's Witness leaders, according to them. And um, not, not, not only do their beliefs disagree with all the other beliefs, they even disagree with their own belief, because every 10 years or so, they keep changing their fundamental doctrines, such as the meaning of the generation. I, I, I will tell you this and I have to go now because yes, I'm, okay. I'm a bit busy. Yes, of course. If, if, if anybody come to you and say, God revealed this to me, and it did not match up with scripture, I'm sorry. They are a fraud. Right. So, so, so just to anybody go, to, just to go back. Yeah, I, I, I get it. So go to going back to John seventeen five, the glory which I had with you before the world was. There, the yes. Son says he existed together with the Father from before the creation of the world. But when I've yes. spoken to Bible Way people, I don't know where your Bible Way church is based. Um, Apostle Macintosh's Bible Way church is based. You know where that is? It's in M L Hampstead. Sorry. M L Hampstead. In Hampstead. No, M L. Um, Did you hear that? No. What? Where is it based? M, M L Hempstead. H E M E L Hempstead. Never heard of it. Okay. okay. Is it in London or? No, it's not. It's it's, it's not in London. No. It's Hertfordshire. In in Hertfordshire. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, but in John 17, 5, the Son says he had glory together with the Father from before the world was. So before the yeah. creation, the Father existed together with the Son in eternity. Now, when I've spoken to and read the oneness literature and seen your videos on YouTube, you say the Son had a beginning. He came into existence at Bethlehem. There's no eternal Son. So how do you explain John 17, 5? No, 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 no. The flesh came into existence. When Jesus was conceived, but listen, when when Mary, uh, when they when they knew Jesus for three days, they couldn't find him, and um, when they actually found him, and, and and his mother, you know, spoke to him. He said, "Woman, don't you know I would, I should, I I would be about my father's business." Now he was not talking about Joseph. Now, uh, do, do you believe the Son of God is eternal, or do you believe the Son of God came into existence at Bethlehem? He is eternal. The Son of, the son of God is eternal? <laughs> the, flesh, the flesh came into existence. Right, so the Son, therefore, you believe as the Trinitarians do, that the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit existed in eternity from before the creation. God existed eternally as three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You, you've just agreed God, with the Trinity. No, God... God was in the beginning. Right. Who okay. is this God who's in the beginning? Is it the Father alone, or is it the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit? It, it, it is the Father. It is the Father alone. Right. But, so, therefore, but, the Son but, is but, not but, eternal. You're saying the Son is no, not eternal. No, no, no. You listen to me now. God was in the beginning. And that's the so, Father, you say? Right. The Father yes, alone. And, yes, yes. And so he had, he, he, he had different... Um, offices that he needed to work in, but within during, during of time, 
because God worked within time at this moment. So when he needed, when Adam and Eve sinned, yeah. there, was, there, was, there was animal blood sacrifice. But he had a plan. Okay? There he planned to have, um, sorry. There he planned to roll himself in flesh. Right, when did that happen? When did the sun come into existence in oneness theology? That's what I'm interested in. I, I don't need a, you know, uh, Genesis uh, what, to Revelation Bible, Bible explanation. When did the uh, sun come into existence? I have not to give that explanation because I've got none of my own. Yeah, when... I am not a fraud, so I will not tell you anything of my own. I will tell the Bible. Right. Is this, you've said the Son, the Father existed alone, so you said the Son must therefore have come into existence at a point in time. I'm simply asking, when did the Son come into existence? At what point or at what time did the Son come into existence in your theology? The Son came into the, 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 the man Jesus, the flesh. No, I'm asking about the Son. Do you believe the Son is the flesh? Yes, yes. Right. Son, so when did the... Because you could not see the Father. Right. So when when did the Son come into existence? The son. Right. So when did the Son come into existence? Read your Bible and then you will know. Because I've, I've been telling you... That well, you, 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 you really when, believe the Son when, came into existence at Bethlehem. When God himself, okay, went into Mary's womb and made the flesh... For that, for the sacrifice that was needed for me and you and the world. That was when the flesh came into existence. And mm -hmm. that's why I'm saying to you, Jesus, God said, I am that I am. That was the name he gave to Moses. Got it. I've, I I, I've got it. I honestly I know that. Be, I am yeah, I got it. I've I I honestly be. got it. But if the sun comes into existence in Mary's womb 2,000 years ago, Flesh, right, yes. right. Then how do you explain John seventeen five, where the Son is speaking to the Father in John seventeen one, and in John seventeen five, the Son says to the Father, "And now, O Father, glorify me together with yourself, with the glory I had with you, with yeah, right, which means alongside you in the Greek, before the world was, because the Son here says he had existence together with the Father from before the creation, but you're saying in the Bible Way Church that the Son came into existence at at his conception in Mary's womb 2,000 years ago. Listen, I have, I have explained it to you the best, uh, to the best of my knowledge. Um, you are looking for something that does not exist um, humanly. So what, 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 what am I, I looking for? What I suggest you do. What am I looking so for? I have this conversation with God himself. That's the, that's the source. I am just giving you this advice now because I have to go. All right. Go and go and have this conversation with God Himself, yes. and He will tell you what you need to know. That's a little. That's a little sarcastic, especially as you couldn't no, address anything that I've raised. But no, it's not. It's not because you are not understanding what I am saying. I I understand I it very well. I, you are a sub, I, I, you are a subordinationist. I have to go. You're I'm a, not a baby looking after you. I need to hear it. Right. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Bye bye. Yes. Bye.